Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Australia, Southern Australia, and Kim Masters' house is way up there on top of the hill. And um, so I'm just walking around, just taking photos of, you know, different things, sheep and wild kangaroos. And um, so I thought I'd share a little bit about, um, what am I going to share about? You, you have a topic or an idea? Oh, here I got one. I, I share about the power of the polarity opposites. Um, basically what that means is that, you know, I hate something. You know, when you say I hate something, you know, in my mind when I'm working with a client, say so they hate something, they actually mean they really love it. And, of course, I wouldn't tell them that directly unless I want to make sure I want to clean it up as I'm going along. But why would you hate something? The power of the opposites, the polarity opposites. And the reason why people hate things is because they have so much investment in it. Emotional investment, family investment, they have experiences, they rehearse it, they want to bring people into the fold of the hatred. They want to share their hatred, they want to give part of this hatred to other people. And it's also the same way with when you're working on yourself, say, for example, the fear of public speaking. All right. Now, usually, oftentimes, people have a fear of public speaking is because they had experiences that help install the fear of public speaking, such as childhood experiences in school or, or people picking on them, making fun of them, being the center of attention. And so what I discovered when working with individuals, as we go to these memories and experiences... And we start to re-imprint these, basically rewrite the story of the memories. All of a sudden, they're still having the same experience or the same mindset, but it's in the positive way. Which means, uh, a perfect example is uh, a practitioner, a faster tea practitioner, Marguerite. Um, her mother was a famous singer, and at one point they moved from from a public school from a private school to a public school and she became the center of attention which that's the reason why she didn't want to be the center of attention and then as we go back to the memory and we re-imprint the memory change the meaning of the memory all of a sudden now she feels comfortable being a presenter public speaker all right even in my own personal life you know of course you know you see me on YouTube and I'm presenting and I'm going to seminars giving seminars 15 years ago Robert would have never done that Robert also had personal experiences. I had personal experiences that made sure I didn't want to be a public speaker. And that was probably when I was in school. You know, being in the center of a class, center of attention, being made fun of, being picked on, stuck in the middle of class, and everybody had to spell it, and I had to spell it in the middle, and I was the only one done that way. So it, it helped us become great. It's like the, the you know, my brother said, I, I'm not going to whip my children, you know, because my father would beat us for no reason anytime whenever he felt bad he would just you know just take it out on us so so here it is he chose not to do that and what happens the children still have the same problems but in the opposite direction so what we want to do is is make peace with the worst of the worst the bad stuff and reimprint it you know you look at somebody who's sick for example sick and tired of being sick and tired she said and yet I started working on her. She said, I'm tired of it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But yet when we started going back and start cleaning it up, we found out that she had an emotional experience at seven years old. Her mother was a nurse. Her mother was always working, always away. But when she was sick, she got love. She got attention. So there's a weird polarity of opposites. You know, we say we hate it, but yet we do everything to keep it. We say we don't like fears and phobias, and yet we spend all our time thinking about it, running about it, reading books about it, or having it. Depression. You hate depression. You hate depression. You don't want depression, but you do everything to depress yourself. And definitely don't want to change the memories that support it, because then it destroys your depression. So what happens if you get rid of it? You're having the opposite. And that's what we want to understand. Make peace with the worst parts, the painful, hurtful, the, the misery, and change that within you. And as you change that within you, then you get to do the positive side of it, which means you can be a public speaker. That means you can be happy. That means you can enjoy life more. That means you can be healthy. So make peace with the polarity opposites, you know. So get rid of the hate, make peace with the hatred, release the hatred, 
release the pain, and then you can have something different. You know, my life, what I'm doing now, is amazing. I would never in a million years, 15 years ago, think that I would be traveling the world, teaching people how to take control of their life, seeing all parts of the world, and doing things I never thought possible. And yet, I am. And the reason why I am is because I didn't tap one time. I tapped thousands and thousands of times. I still tap today, even. So, again, take full, complete ownership of your emotional life. Change the past, because it's over and it doesn't exist unless you recreate it, and have something better. If you just do this, just clean up the memories and change them, your life now will be completely different. You'll act differently, look differently, and behave differently. Love yourself from the inside out by changing the bad things or the disruptive things that hurt you and bother you, and you'll produce something different. This is Robert Smith here in Southern Australia. Next week I'm going to Melbourne, and I'm going to do about eight different days of seminar. And you should come along. Come to a seminar. And this is Robert Smith. Tap on yourself, love yourself, and be nice to yourself. Good day, mate. Good day, mate.